everyone welcome to my channel happy friday hope everyone is having a great day today or night depending on what time you're watching it um so today we are going to be making homemade um cream puffs okay and hey it's not as hard as you think okay hey if i can do it you can do it so let's get started and hey if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have, thanks a lot. I really enjoy you being part of my family here on YouTube. And, uh, hey, let's get to cooking, okay? Um, in fact, I think I'm going to get a little bit closer here to what I'm going to be making. Um, we're starting out in the pan here with a half a cup of water. A half a cup of milk and eight tablespoons of butter. So, you should grab me a knife here, probably, instead of putting that big little chunk in there. Uh -oh. So, how's everyone been? Hey, I hope you're all doing real great and never think that you can't make something good because. Cooking really is not quite as hard as what everyone makes it out to be. Especially when you can make things that are pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And I have it on about a medium heat. So we're just going to heat this until it starts to boil. Okay, my butter has just now started to boil. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this heat off. From there, I have one cup of flour that you just want to dump right in there like that. Okay, and we are going to get that all mixed up. It's going to be kind of thick, but that's what you want. Try and get some look kind of like that. Now I'm going to turn the heat back on like a medium. Now stir continuously, okay? And we're going to only do this for like uh, two minutes. Stir continuously though. Do not stop because you don't want it to burn. You're just getting everything put together the way that it needs to be put together. See how it's I'm trying to show you. It's kind of hard to get the camera inside my pan. Okay. It's forming a uh, ball right up in here. Okay. okay. Like that. Just like that. Okay, now what we need to do is go over here and I'm grabbing my big bowl. And we are going to dump this into the bowl. See how it left my pan clean. I love that nonstick though. Okay. Now into that, I guess I better plug my mixer in here. And uh, we're going to be adding in the rest of the stuff here, which is going to be four eggs. And I just realized I forgot the sugar in this which calls for one teaspoon. That was supposed to go in there. I wonder if we're going to try this. We'll see if it works. I may be ruining it right now. Oh, I think it'll be all right. Don't tell. Okay. <laughs> we'll just mix that right up in there like that. 
Hopefully it'll be okay. All right, so I have me here four eggs at room temperature. Um, actually, they're a little cold. I'm going to run them under some lukewarm water. That will get them more at a room temperature. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, we are going to take the mixer and we are going to mix this up for about one minute. Okay, sorry if it's loud, guys. <laughs> All right, now into that, we're going to take one egg at a time and drop in to that. One at a time, we're going to beat them in. Okay, there's one egg down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn my oven on. We're going to start it at 450. Oh, there we go. Let that preheat. Okay, egg two. Put it in there and beat it. Okay. Egg three. Drop in and beat it. Egg four. Look at that, not one shell. getting thicker. Okay, that should be good enough. It said after you got all four eggs in to be an additional minute. So to me, I think that's an additional minute. Good. So now we are going to do the fun part. Okay, now for the fun part. I had me a quart jar and I put my pastry bag inside. So now I'm going to get me some of that pastry right inside of here. Okay, now that we have our dough in the bag here, we're going to take and grab a cookie sheet with some parchment paper on it. Turn it around a little little trick, if you want to know a little trick to keep your parchment paper, paper down, you can put a little dab on the corners. Then it will actually keep that stuck to your pan. Like that. Okay, so now for the moment. Okay, I do not claim to be a pastry chef. Okay, um, but here we go. Okay, I'm going to just give it some pressure and just kind of let it overflow. Okay, I'm going to try another one. Just give it some pressure and when you get to the top give it a little swirl here we'll do another one okay and give it a little twist we'll go over here I don't think you saw that one okay <laughs> give it some pressure That one's going to be a little smaller. And at the end, a little twist. Okay, I'm going to try to squeeze this down. I have my oven preheating to 425. Okay. It depends on how big you want them to. 
but try to have them kind of spaced apart just a little bit like a couple inches maybe okay okay now that one I'm not sure it didn't turn out so great <laughs> All you pastry chefs. Okay, I'm not one. I'm not a pastry chef. I'm trying, though. I'm trying to make these um, beautiful little puffs here. Cream puffs. <laughs> okay. I think I need to put some more in the bag here. A little turn it up. Blast back over here. And... I will put some more in here. Well, there's my beeper for the oven. Okay. And just give a little shake. Get it down there. And you can kind of push it down, too. So, right, let's try this one more time. <laughs> okay, I'm bound to determined to make some cream puffs here. So, here we go. All right. A little twist. <laughs> All right. A little twist. Oh, that one really twisted. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. A little twist. Mm. A little twist. Okay. I have to wash my hands. Okay, one last thing we can do though, grab some water here, being as I'm in the water, you can take some cold water here and you can kind of go around them and flatten them a little bit there or get the little peak off of it. I've got some here that are tiny. <laughs> And some that aren't so. So there's one sheet. And then I'll go ahead and finish it off here. Get the rest of my batter in here. I think it's called shoe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think this kind of pastry puff batter is called shoe. Like I say, if I am wrong, I apologize. Please let me know. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get my bag. Yeah, I'm only going to probably get maybe one or two out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably just one. Uh -oh. Might as well empty the bag out here. I could have made room for that, probably, on the other. <laughs> okay. Where's my water? Here we go. Okay. And you can go around the edges too, if you need to. <laughs> yeah, I could have very well got that on there. I don't know if I can transport that or not. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put it in the oven. So these are going to go in for 10 minutes. Okay, and then after 10 minutes, don't open up the oven. But turn your oven down to 325 and let them continue cooking for around 20 minutes till they become a nice golden brown. And then you pull them out and the next step is filling them. So, but we're going to put them in the oven and let them bake. Okay, my one lonesome one. Okay, I got it on the middle rack, so hopefully... That'll be okay. So stay tuned and we'll wait for these um, cream puffs to get done. So see you in a few. Okay, guys, I am going to check on these. They've been in for probably about 15 minutes. But I wanted to show you a little trick that you can do if they're not browning the way you want. Just get you an egg wash. Okay, I have one egg and one tablespoon of water. So I'm just going to go over them, give them a nice little egg wash bath here. You don't have to go real heavy on it, just a little bit. 
okay just like that and we're going to put them back in the oven for about five minutes here's my little single one right here ain't he cute so i'll go ahead and give him a little bit of egg wash too throw him in for another five minutes i'll be right back okay i am going to say these are done and looky there right really cute and we're just going to take them off and let them cool and then we will be able to uh, get the cream on them and they are warm so nice and airy that one pretty small <laughs> a little bite size huh now i think they would be cool to make them bigger but you can make them any size that you want and um, so i'm gonna let them cool here and we will finish them up here in a bit so make sure you stay tuned for the cream puffs okay it is time to make the uh, filling for these cream puffs okay so we are going to be taking two cups of heavy whipping cream that pour it in the bowl here I have four teaspoons of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla okay now we have to use the noise maker and whip up some whipped cream let's go <laughs> I want to whip it so it forms a peak, like right about now. There, we have a peak, and it is much quieter. So, get my beaters out of there. Mmm, homemade whipped cream. This stuff is so good. And we won't talk about the calories. this out of my way okay now we have our little uh, get me a cup of coffee there can you see <laughs> okay here we have them so now what I'm going to do is grab me a spoon now because these didn't rise up as high as I wanted to I'm just going to um, put the whipped cream like that. And like that. I like a lot there, huh? And like that. Okay. Now watch this. Take strawberry. Put it on top like that. Mm, is that not pretty? You have a Danish, or you could take and make like a sandwich type two. I had to grab me another strawberry. And I kind of thought like the ones that didn't fall top that were really flat. Why couldn't we just go like this? Put the strawberry in there, and then you have a nice little cream puff there, hey? Or you can have one like that. Okay, who says the cream has to be on the inside, right? <laughs> to me, they look delicious, and hey, you can have the first bite. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and share the video if you want and hey if you want to subscribe to my channel go ahead and subscribe i'd love to have you until next time guys toodaloo have a good one